This hack tip is brought to you by Carbonite. You guys already knew that the hackers took over the airwaves as far as the RF was concerned, but I'm here with Peter. Peter, dude, nice hackers are just getting into avionics like crazy now. What is this guy? Well, this is a um, new uh, UAV platform. Um, it is currently more a, a RC airplane. Uh, it can take off vertically uh, like a quadrocopter. It uh, has four rotors just like those. And then it can transition into forward flight and fly on the wing to, uh, to have uh, um, longer range and, uh, speed, uh, and, and speed. Yes, of course, sure. And what was your, what's your inspiration behind this guy? Uh, well, I, I was involved with quadrocopters for uh, many years before and different projects and um, um, I was working uh, for a company that uh, was doing uh, um, uh, bigger systems like that and uh, we went into an argument like uh, what is better, a quadrocopter or an airplane? And we said like, okay, let's put it both together, put the wing on a, uh, on a quadrocopter and get uh, uh, the best from both worlds. Yeah, it's kind of like an Osprey in the fact that, you know, it, it does the... Yeah, anyway, that, that's so fantastic. What was your, like, what is the niche for this though? Are you trying, like, is there a particular, are you going for speed? Are you going for payload or, or what's the idea here? So, so for, for now it is uh, more like a, a RC, RC toy to, so, so that we uh, explore this, uh, this frame. And uh, we uh, also have uh, one version with a very uh, powerful autopilot. So it is a great thing for researchers. Uh, that uh, basically we want to see what people come up with. Okay, so what kind of payload would you have on like this guy right here? Um, it's uh, about one pound. All right, so like enough for like a Wi-Fi pineapple or something like that? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, what, what about the range, the battery? Uh, how do you uh, operate this? And you were, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> yeah, so um, it has a lithium polymer battery and it has an endurance of around 15 minutes. You can put also a second battery if you compromise the amount of payload and then you get to 25 minutes flight time. So um, we were um, flying it in racetracks for about six miles, so that's, uh, um, that's basically Okay, and I see that you also have a, uh, a camera uh, mounted on one of these systems here. Uh, is, is that part of the autopilot and how does that work? Uh, so uh, we have a camera gimbal on, uh, on the other airframe uh, that is uh, compensating pitch uh, um, when, when the device is flying. So uh, it is uh, stabilized and uh, so that you don't get uh, sick when you're flying it. So. Uh, the, uh, we have a, a telemetry uh, camera with a, um, direct video link to the ground, so you th theoretically can fly it uh, first person, so you could basically sit in the airplane. We are also flying it with GoPros and uh, uh, other cameras, so uh, you can get really nice uh, HD footage from air uh, in, from like beautiful perspectives, uh, even uh, flying to somewhere where you, uh, where it is uh, difficult to reach that you want to see the waterfall or something and yeah. it's like I can imagine that this is exciting for you know hackers videographers anyone it seems like kind of a general purpose uh, platform uh, how did this is like what revision is this and what did the first one look like Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone, but if you get Carbonate Online backup beforehand, you'll be worry-free because your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site, and it's really easy to get them back. Plus, you can get anytime, anywhere access to your backed up files from any computer or on your smartphone or iPad with the free Carbonate app. With Carbonite, unlimited backup for your PC or Mac is just $59 a year. That's less than five bucks a month. But if you use the offer code HAK5 to start your free 15-day trial, you get two months free if you decide to buy. All the details are over at Carbonite.com and remember to use the offer code HAK5 to get two months free with purchase. And that this is exciting for you know hackers, videographers, anyone. It seems like kind of a general purpose uh, platform. Uh, how did this is like, what revision is this, and what did the first one look like? <laughs> oh, this is uh, uh, this is already the 11th iteration of the uh, airframe. The wing is uh, the um, um, 
ninth, uh, ninth wing. So uh, we made different approaches. So it is uh, on our team. This is of course a, a team effort. So uh, we have uh, our. Uh, uh, our engineer uh, on our team that is really great and uh, uh, optimized the wing um, and we went to get it really really right and uh, be very stable so it is also when the motors fail it is uh, uh, it is self stable so uh, you can glide down on the wing and uh, save your payload nice we also uh, like saw somebody like pushing it around and it kind of like compensates for that uh, how, how does it do that well, there is an autopilot on it. It's a, it's a Paparazzi Lisa M autopilot. Uh, it's an STM32 microcontroller, so a 32-bit uh, 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 chip that uh, does uh, has an IMU on it. So it. So what is an IMU? Uh, it's a, a combination of a three axis gyroscope, the three axis accelerometer and also three axis magnetometer. We also have a pressure sensor on the system. This is not a particularly a part of an IMU as, as such, but uh, this way you can uh, measure the altitude you are on and control that too. And since you know the speed and pitch and everything else, you can maintain stable flight without the need for GPS? Uh, well. If, so steady flight, yes, but uh, you don't know your position, so you cannot do a completely autonomous flight. Although the hardware supports a GPS, so you can hook up a GPS to this too, so that would work. Is this a system that you're commercializing? <laughs> so um, basically we want to bring it to as many hands as possible. So yes, we uh, have a Kickstarter project currently to um, um, pay for the uh, molds, to uh, injection mold the wing. Uh, and what is the material here? And this is EPP, this is uh, um, expanded poly polypropylene. So this doesn't weigh much at all? No, it uh, just weighs 700 grams with battery and everything. Wow. So if somebody were to go out and uh, get in on Kickstarter, what would it take to, to get something like out of the box where you can already start flying and throwing ridiculous payloads on? And so we have a Kickstarter special, it's $300. How long is that going till? Uh, it is uh, still going for another uh, four weeks. Oh, wonderful. Dude, I can't wait to get in. And you guys are Bay Area, so we have to come by and, and see this stuff. I think this is fantastic. It's really amazing to see uh, how hackers get into all of the other you know, the, the systems and subsystems. I mean, flight is really just another hack within itself. So uh, I'm stoked to see uh, when this launches how, you know, how creative the community is going to get with it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for having me. And uh, where can people find the website? Uh, it is... Uh, um the quadshot.com. All right, thank you so much.